people are like, who is Danielle Victor? And I'm like, bitch, it's Danny with two N's. Am I a fashion blogger? Maybe. Am I a storyteller? For sure. Am I a badass bitch? Absolutely. So if you're smart, you'll subscribe to my channel. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a fucking minute. I'd be back to regular schedule, but unpacking to even try to get the couch in here has been intense to say the least. And I have been having mood swings, okay? Like massive mood swings. The point where I'm like, I am not gonna get it in front of a camera and film. So I'm not gonna give you shitty content and therefore content can wait for when my headspace and my mental and my physical are A1 to give you what you guys deserve, okay? Um, so there will be a new true crime this week. I'm probably gonna take notes on a new case Monday and I'm thinking like maybe Sundays will be my uploading days. Like maybe every Sunday will just be new true crime day. That's what I'm thinking. I was gonna do Wednesdays because I feel like in the middle of the week it does better than the weekends. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I should have Wednesdays as uploading day or Sundays? It's only gonna be one day a week, so. Are we thinking middle of the week? Are we thinking Sundays because Sundays everyone's like kind of over the weekend, maybe hungover at home? Let me know. I'll do a poll on my YouTube channel and you guys can let me know. Or you can just answer below. What do you guys think? I don't know, either or. So that's that. I will have a new true crime this week. This video is not about a true crime. This is just, I gotta, you know, say a few things. Announcement, announcement, announcement. So fucking annoying. Don't forget to shop my Poshmark closet. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine boxes still left of shit I need to post on Poshmark. And I gotta figure out where to put it so that the rest of my furniture can arrive. It's just like, that's all a lot. But in the meantime, don't forget to go to my page and shop what's there, at Danny Victor. And that's Danny with two N's, okay? Thank you. So uh, this video, uh, me and Gabby decided that in honor of Baddie's ATL and for executive producer, Tanisha Thomas, who knew that she was an executive producer the entire time all this drama was going on, who, uh, by the way, me and Gabby called play-by-play -play of every move Natalie and Tanisha was making, and we got called pretty much every name in the book. Everyone took Tanisha's side, everyone took Natalie's side, and me and Gabby were absolutely 110% correct. We were not wrong about anything, because usually we never are. But if you guys can remember, if we can take a trip down memory lane, Gabby did a live with Tanisha, and during the live, Gabby said, and I quote, it's the acting for me. Do you guys remember that? Do you guys remember that live? I'll try to find a clip, but most likely I'm not going to be able to, but if I do, I'll add it. And if I don't, it's not gonna be here. But Gabby said that in her live, and after that, Tanisha called her a bunch of bitches and whatever, and blocked both of us, and then went on live like 24 hours later and like apologized, but didn't apologize to us actually. Just apologized on her live so she didn't look like a piece of shit, but honestly, she looks like a piece of shit she was acting the entire time. But besides the point, in honor of Natalie Nunn, but most importantly, Tanisha Thomas, me and Gabby created a t-shirt, and the t-shirt says, it's the acting for me. Okay, we made that just for you, girl. So for anyone who purchased the Zeus Network $5.99, they upped their prices, because that's a lot more than when I did Black China Show. But since they upped their prices to $5.99, and you're sitting at home and you're watching the show, which I hear is actually terrible, and I actually feel like all the comments are about how it's acting. We thought this shirt would be appropriate, and then you can buy it and wear it on Sundays when you're watching the unfortunate show that you purchased with the monthly fee, okay? So this shirt is for y'all in honor of Tunisia. It's the acting for me. I just ordered mine. When I get it, I'll wear it in a true crime video. You guys can buy it and wear it during their show or just wear it when you're going to meet up with a friend or your boyfriend and you know they've lied about something and they're sitting across the table from you and they're lying and you just know that they're lying because you have all the proof that they're lying and they don't believe that you know that they're lying, but you do know that they're lying, and then the shirt is just on your body, letting them know, like, I know you're bullshitting, it's the acting for me. It's the acting for me across the table in which you sit for me and you're lying and you're bullshitting, because that's how me and Gabby felt when we were dealing with Tunisia, okay? We were like, 
She's an actress. She's a fucking actress. Who knew? The mother of Bad Girls Club, the most respected, was a fucking lying piece of shit. So on that note, this is how you get the t-shirt. Step one, let me read the colors. I don't have the colors memorized. What colors do we have for you? Let me double check, sir. Okay, the sizes are woman, small to double XL. We have men's, because we know some men out there are Bad Girls Club fans and you're watching that garbage on Zeus Network. So we have a men's size small to double XL as well. And we have youth in case you want to get your kid this t-shirt for school if someone is bullying them or just lying to them. If someone went to the eighth grade dance and their friend was like, oh, I'm not going. I swear I'm not going, but she's really going with the guy that you want to go with. You can buy this t-shirt for your young child. She can wear it to her eighth grade science class to let that bitch no it's the acting for me i know you're going with doug i was supposed to go with doug but you're a whore so we have them in use too <laughs> we have them in use too the total of the t-shirt is 30 dollars. and before you start talking shit about how we're trying to capitalize on this t-shirt the base of the t-shirt is 25 me and gabby are only going to be making five dollars on this t-shirt and we're doing it this way because it was the cheapest t-shirt i could find t-shirts on teespring t-shirts on shopify all their base prices are like 30 to like 40 like a crop top on teespring was 35 dollars for a base and then if i added money to it it'd be like 50 bucks i'm like who the is gonna pay $50 for a crop top. I wouldn't, therefore I'm not gonna make you do it. So we found a way to make t-shirts in the most cost efficient way possible, but it's still costly. So the t-shirt is $30. So one, you're going to decide what you want. The colors are white, black, red, royal blue, navy, charcoal, or gray. And the handwriting can be black or white. So you pick what colors you want. And then step two is you're going to email my email, daniellevictorsubmissions at gmail.com subject line t-shirt order and in the email you're going to put your full name your address the size that you want and once I receive that email I will send you an invoice via PayPal in the invoice you'll have to confirm that I have all your information correct that is your name your address, your t-shirt size, and I will email that invoice to you. Once you get the invoice, you're gonna review your information, make sure that your shipping address, your size, and your color is correct. Then once it is correct, you're gonna pay that invoice, and once I receive that PayPal invoice, I will order your t-shirt directly to you, okay? You know, I was just, I was taking a shower. I was taking a shower the other day. It was a bad day for me. But then I was in the shower and I just came up with like this brilliant idea and I called Gabby I was like let's put it. it's the acting for me on a t-shirt because Tanisha is an actress and I feel like the world should know that she's an actress and for anyone wondering I am on wave going to discuss the following this video is merely just to tell you guys that I have t-shirts because this will reach more people than putting it directly on wave so I want to let you know that on wave this week my moving vlog is going tomorrow and then let's say on Wednesday I'm going to have this video up I I'm going to talk about how I reached out to Seven on the Victor Twins page before it got disabled by a bunch of psychopaths and because she was on live and you guys sent me the live where she called me like a weird ass bitch or a weirdo. <laughs> so as a, a grown ass woman, because if you don't know, on Tuesday I turned 33, happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. I turned 33, I'm a grown ass woman. So if I don't have a problem with someone publicly, I'm gonna handle that shit privately. So I tried to reach out to her on the Victor Twins page cause I was locked out of my account when all this shit was happening. I sent her a message, it got ignored. So I'm going to discuss the message that I sent to her in a wave video. I'm gonna discuss Judy and her current and psychotic harassment of Gabby mostly. And I'm going to discuss how I believe that Tanisha is a full-blown actress. You all know we told you guys earlier that if in fact Tanisha did a show, we were gonna make a video and we were gonna discuss every little detail about how she's a fake ass fraud, just as much as Scamily. Is that what she calls her, Scamily? Yeah, so they're one and the same. I don't know how anyone on this planet, especially Bad Girls Club fans, because there's one thing I will say about Bad Girls Club, Oxygen, NBC, anyone could edit us however they want. They can make us look like we're talking shit about Gia, but I'm really talking shit about Amy. Okay, we get that. We get that there's some fabrications in filming. Like for instance, me and Gabby got jumped long before we went to Mexico, but they edited it like we went to Mexico first, came back, got jumped and ran out of the house, screaming for the hills, like bring me back 
that awesome, but that's not how shit happens. So that's how reality TV works if it's a legitimate reality TV show. Despite whatever was edited by production, all the fights were real, all the arguments were real, all the shit talking was real, the anger was real. From the one to two clips you guys have DM'd me from the shit on Zeus, everything looks staged, fabricated, it looks like a joke. Tanisha, if you want to be an executive producer on something like that, go good for you, girl. I'm so happy for your new project that you knew that you were doing the entire time you were doing it, but didn't want to say that you were doing it. Me and Gabby had about a, a one hour, I think it was one hour and 45 minute phone conversation with Tanisha the night Natalie locked us out of the OnlyFans account and robbed us of our portion of the money that we helped earn. And we recorded the entire conversation. Now, I know I can't use recordings, so in this video that I'm gonna be posting on Wave, I'm just gonna break down little things that I caught within this period of time in which Tanisha was in fact lying and full of shit. And it's just so weird to me and bizarre that a grown ass woman who's older than me can't just be like hey I really want this bag and this is how I think we can get the bag I'm gonna bullshit this fight with Natalie and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that and just you know don't question me and there was one phone conversation when Tanisha was like you guys need to stop asking questions and I was like bitch what and that's when the journey began of me and Gabby being like she's involved so I'm gonna break down all my thoughts, all my full thoughts on Tunisia. I'm gonna break down my thoughts on, now there's a little birdie in the grapevine that said, I keep getting like 550 DMs about how somebody leaked online that Christina is pregnant and she's pregnant with the baby of the owner of Zeus, who I believe is married to a very beautiful woman. Now, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if it's false. I don't know, whatever the but I'm gonna give my opinion in the wave video that I'm posting this week on how I feel, what my thoughts are on producers and cameramen and audio people playing house with their cast members. I think it's completely inappropriate. I don't think it should happen. When we did Bad Girls Club, there was one bad girl that f one of the audio people and after she got caught, one of the audio people we couldn't even like speak to the audio people we couldn't look at the audio people it was like a hundred dollar fine if you did so so in a real production you would think that you would still want those boundaries and i'm going to discuss how i find it inappropriate that these boundaries were crossed with this show on baddies atl i'm also going to talk about how you had a whole show based on our show bad girls club and you got a bitch that's not even on bad girls club so I'm gonna talk about that as well. There's like so much I wanna talk about. And yeah, that's gonna be on Wave. So everyone subscribe to our Wave channel. It is ridethewave.com slash the Victor Twins slash post. You can subscribe, that'll be up this week. It's either gonna be Wednesday or Friday. I know Gabby's got some videos to post. I have some videos I need to post, but it will be going up, I promise, because I got some shit to say. I haven't said a lot in a while. I haven't spilled some tea in a while, but I'm not just spilling some tea. I'm gonna go ahead and spill the whole picture okay i'm gonna spill the picture i'm gonna give you my full grown woman opinion on so many things in regards to the spin-off that has now fully embarrassed and tarnished and ruined the bad girls club image and it's so funny because now that i think back on it and i'm like Natalie was saying all this shit about kicking Judy out and paying her only 500 bucks and yada yada yada. I'm like, Judy was probably in on this shit the entire time. And I got beef with Rocky now and I got beef with everyone who kicked us out of the OnlyFans and robbed us of our money. And those girls defended Natalie till death do they part. And Natalie didn't even ask them to do the spinoff. How you like them apples, girls? You Not only did you do embarrassing OnlyFans content, the bitch used you in a game of chess that you weren't even gonna be a part of in the end. She's sitting at home saying, checkmate, and y'all aren't even on the spinoff. Like, it. did me and Gabby not tell y'all? Did we not tell the whole world everything that's being watched and talked about right now? Because uh, I'm sorry, y'all can hate on me and Gabby all you want, but we are never wrong. We are actually real ass bitches who got eyes and ears and mouths to report back to y'all what we saw with our eyes and heard with our ears, okay? So if you wanna actually spend your money on an actual good subscription, I know I've been lacking on the post for the past month but now that i have my couch in here and i'm slowly but surely starting to unpack i'm gonna get back into the mode of things so wave's gonna be lit but if you actually want to spend a good subscription based platform then subscribe to our wave 
You're never gonna get acting. You're never gonna get lies. You're never gonna get bullshit like you're paying when you pay for the zoo subscription. And honestly, I'd be dying to know if there was some way to find out how many subscriptions they got from this show and how much money they made and how the I really want to interview every single cast member for my podcast besides Natalie and Tanisha. And I want to ask them, how are you cool with Tanisha and Natalie getting the executive producer title and a portion, a portion of the Zeus subscriptions when y'all just got a base premium pay? How the f*** are you comfortable as grown ass women to work with these two females when they are clearly getting a way bigger bag than you, but are expecting all of y'all to bring the most to the table because all they have to offer is their fake ass beef i would never in my fucking life and i said that to tanisha because i told her i was like i want a portion of the zoo subscriptions and she started laughing and talked shit online like she doesn't have any skills she doesn't know shit bitch you don't know shit because what you just produced is trash so what you should have done is probably thought about it and i might have been able to save y'all shitty show but that's besides the point we're going to discuss all this in detail on wave this week so again don't forget to subscribe ride the wave.com slash the victor twins slash post and we're going to talk about it on that note i'm out i've got shit to do i'm going to unpack a little well first i'm going to edit this video and post it then i'm going to edit my moving vlog part two for wave tomorrow that's going to go up tomorrow and then i'm going to unpack a little have a glass of wine because i don't really drink that much anymore which is why i think i've lost so much weight i'm like damn did i really have that much liquor weight but besides the point um, i'm gonna have a glass of wine i'm gonna relax a little bit unpack and then i might if i'm in the mood i might film this video later but most likely after all the editing i'm probably Probably not gonna film the video until Tuesday or Wednesday, if I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. So, either way, it'll be up, but give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, but as I always say, if you're giving it a thumbs down, you probably shouldn't be on this channel. But if you are gonna be here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, but also hit the bell, because if you don't hit the bell, you will not get notifications, and if you don't get notifications, what is the point? Most importantly, and I'll say it over and 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 over again, subscribe to our wave. Ridethewave.com slash the Victor Twins slash post. Shop my Poshmark closet at Danny Victor and follow me on all social media, which will be in the description box below. And that's that. That's it, folks. Enjoy. I hope you enjoyed um, tonight's shitty episode on Zeus. I'm so sorry if you want a refund. What you're never going to want a refund for is our wave. So feel free to just go subscribe right now, okay? We have, we have lots of tea to discuss this week. It's the acting for me. Don't forget to buy t-shirts okay remember pick a size pick a color email me email me all your information i'm gonna paypal you review the paypal information because if you don't review it and it's incorrect and then pay the invoice and then i'm gonna send you your t-shirt that you can wear on sundays when you watch that shitty show or anywhere where you think someone's lying get invited to you know your friend has a party and you're not invited but you show up anyway you can say it's the acting for me to let her know like bitch we're not friends you know t-shirt can be used for many different purposes not just the shitty Show. But in honor of Sunisha, we made this just for her. <laughs> Goodbye.